Are revealing speakers a blessing or a curse? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> this question comes from Robert in Australia. And Robert writes, the Infinity reference speakers I upgraded to totally transformed the system. It really was night and day. The sound is now extremely dynamic, detailed and revealing, and here lies the problem. While some albums sound really great and have a clean extended top end, solid extended bass and detailed mid-range, the speakers also highlight the flaws in other recordings like ice picky highs, weak or muted bass, muddy mid-range, etc. I also noticed this to a lesser extent in, in my pretty decent home system. Yeah, he had been talking about a car system. Are, are some speakers just too revealing in your opinion, Paul? Yeah. Yes, they can be. Um, and it is the classic double-edged sword that we have in high-end audio. So <clears throat> if you have a mediocre pair of speakers that don't do anything exceptionally well and they don't do anything exceptionally poorly, you'll get mediocre sound out of them, right? I mean, that's just what you're going to get. You'll get, yeah, it sounds good. Everything sounds fine. Nothing sounds extraordinary and nothing sounds overly terrible. The better your speakers get, the more revealing they get, the more extremes we start to enjoy and revile, right? I mean, it's hard to have, well, what's a good analogy? Uh, I always go back to food. So back before I learned about good eating and taste and things that I so enjoy today, I ate all kinds of crap. Jack in the Box and I were good friends. McDuck's, Taco Bell, every fast food, you know, thing in the planet. <laughs> ate it up. Cokes, fries, and, and I was as skinny as a rail. I mean, you know, I, I, I couldn't hang my pants on my frame, right? But over time, I started upgrading myself to better hamburgers, to, you know, and, and, and then I couldn't stand the taste of McDonald's. And, and, and what was happening was as my food tastes evolved, my highlights of the day, you know, like, wow, that's really good. Now the opposite of that happened, like, Whoa, that's really bad. How did I ever like that? And so, you know, the divide happens. Well, when you listen to a, a high-end, highly resolving system, what you've done is you've separated the extremes. You've made, when, when you hear something on these speakers, and people come here all the time to do it, it's like, holy shit balls! This is amazing. I've never heard anything like it. And then they'll want to put on their favorite, you know, do wop a ditty and they put it on and go, eh, oh, what, uh, what, what happened? Well, that wasn't a very good recording. What you just listened to was a really good recording played on a really good system. And that is an ecstatic moment. And if you listen to a really bad recording on a really good system, it's going to show off warts and all. That's just the way it is. So one thing I'm going to add to that, because we do talk about this a bit, and I don't want to scare people off from high-end audio, so they're like, oh, I see. So the better my equipment gets, the, the less music I can enjoy? No. There is a good medium balance between that. And a lot of people wind up achieving that, where you get really great sound, and then the stuff that you still like that isn't great recordings, they're still quite listenable. You may not listen to them at reference levels, which, you know, is something to consider. Um, but I find that the better the system up to a certain point, as long as you pick the right system, then you'll have a pretty good experience and, you know, you'll still have all the music you ever had, still enjoy it, and you get uh, to have some really ecstatic moments. Now, the cautionary note here, is this. 
Some speakers and systems are what I want to call over etched. And I used to call out the names. If you watch my series, you probably know it's the English brand that I think is way over etched. And I think they do that because that's easy to sell at the, at the, at the, at the hi-fi dealers. But anyway, we're not going there. <laughs> there are speakers and in, in a number of them that are what I call over etched and way too revealing. There, it's almost unlistenable some of the music that one might enjoy. So you don't want that. You don't want over etched. You want something that is just great and real. And then, depending on how you set everything up, you can have a wonderful experience without the demons uh, and still have the blessings. So it's, you know, call us. We'll guide you through our audio guides. We'll will help you through trying to find the right speakers and the right setup. Just, you know, you got to just let them know what, what the heck they want. Anyway, okay. <laughs> thanks. And, and uh, thanks for the question from Down Under. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.